<laughs> Omo, there's one thing, you know, being pregnant. Being pregnant is one thing. Giving birth is another. And then we finally bring this beautiful human here on earth. That journey of motherhood mm, can run you mad. Hello fine babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Dominica and you are most definitely welcome. I am almost three months by the time I see this video or two, I'm almost two to three months postpartum, okay? And I think I have the right, I think now I can tell you that nobody can prepare you for this. There is no manual, there is no guide, there is nothing like everything, especially as a first time mom, because even people that have given birth over and over again, like my mom that is experienced, she can even guide me. She just tells you, you know what, pray, take it one day at a time and enjoy the journey because that's what it is. So here are my challenges. Number one, first of all, the birth process. If you haven't watched my third trimester slash birth story, go ahead, the link is in the description box below. Watch it, cause it hurts, okay? That's number one, it's gonna hurt. Like, and you have the choice to take pain relief, be it whatever one it is. I did take the epidural and it worked for me. And yes, I highly recommend. Next, the feeling is priceless, okay? Don't get me wrong. Having a child is like, oh my goodness, especially if you want one, okay? Or you've been waiting for one or you're praying for one. It is the most beautiful experience when that baby comes and you carry them, you go through the journey with them. It is so beautiful. It is priceless. There's no price tag to it. The feeling is, you can't understand it. I'm telling you, it is, yeah. Okay. Now, after you give birth, okay, during the birth process, depending, if you have a C-section, you might, it will hurt some people it don't my best friend it didn't hurt her at all um, personally I did have a tear okay and when you have a tear I don't know everybody's tears are different based on the size of your vagina based on the size of your baby and all of that good stuff I had a tear I had one I think one first degree tear so they stitched me up but after that, it hurts. Like, you know, the first time you would get up, the pressure from the stitch area that hurts, and you just have to take it one at a time. And, you know, there was, you have the seat bed that I bought, my mom bought for me, that helped me really, really well with the pain and, you know, that kind of stuff. And to relieve you, you relieve the woman down there, okay? <laughs> so you're gonna have some pain. That that I'm not going to dispute with you. You you will have some pain, you know. Um, and the worst one is having that pain alongside with constipation. That was me. Like I had pain from the pressure, from the stitch, the pain from the stitch, and then constipation like baby <laughs> no matter what I did okay so I had I took prune juice I drank a lot of water I looked into my diet to help personally it just resolved on its own sometimes I'm still constipated once in a while but um, during that first period when you, you're still fresh 
you don't want to be constipated really because it's it's like double the pain the pain will be double you don't want to be constipated at all zero okay now oh mom can somebody tell me as much as you feel like you know so happy to have the baby here you're excited and all of that the emotions like you're so happy that the baby's here but at the same time you are just all over the place like you don't know if you're happy you don't know if you're sad you don't know if you should cry you don't know if you should laugh like i was like having all sorts of emotions like oh baby i <sighs> I wasn't depressed okay because postpartum depression is real and anybody that has gone through that or is going through that I pray that God meets you because I can just imagine how that feels I didn't have postpartum depression but the emotions and the sadness sometimes it's just crazy like and I'm sitting I'm like is it hormone withdrawals that I'm having like what is this like somebody tell me what is this and uh, they tell me it's normal, like it's normal to feel that way. And I'm just sitting there like holding God and the Bible so close because I'm like, please, Jesus take the will, please. I need you to take the will, okay? With time, I guarantee you, with time it does get better. And I think that what also contributes is like you, you feel like, oh my God, this is a new experience, this is new to me, um, and the old me is gone, like the yesterday of me is gone, it's gone, I can't have it back, I don't have it back, and now you're sitting and like, how am I going to take care of this person, what is expected of me, making sure that you're doing the right thing, you're asking the right questions, you're going about it the right way, in, you know, worrying about some kind of stupid useless things that it doesn't even make sense but you just can't control it and it's okay it's okay it's okay all right now i forgot to mention so after i gave birth i did have postpartum hypertension which is horrible okay i didn't have no complication during my pregnancy at all it was a blessed and peaceful pregnancy. Immediately I gave birth like an hour or two after, I started running fevers, headache, body aches and stuff like that. And before I just thought, okay, my body is just, you know, um, I just gave birth, the hormones are trying to, you know, adjust themselves and all those good stuff. And my blood pressure would not go down. And on top of that, I was bleeding excessively. And the headache that comes with this high blood pressure is I don't know like I've never had this kind of headache before but I know some people have migraines I think it's worse than migraine like imagine your blood your heart is pumping blood so fast through your head like the then your 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 the vessels the your veins are like constricted and blood is trying to push its way through it that's how that's how that's how I can explain the headache like it hurts in such a way that I could hear the pain outside of my ear. I could hear my heart beat outside of my ear. That's how much it hurts. I went home on some um, blood pressure medication and I took that for like two weeks. And slowly and slowly, slowly it got resolved. Thank God. I didn't have to go to the hospital. I did go to my primary care. Um, and yeah. But be careful because... I was just stubborn and it can result to seizures, it can result to stroke. So if you do have that, you need to talk to a primary care physician or you need to go to the emergency because postpartum hypertension can kill or will kill you. Okay? Now, you give birth and of course the child has to eat. breastfeeding is hard okay it took me 
a while to get a hang of how to breastfeed my baby and no matter how they teach you I guess you learn and then you find your own way that is comfortable when you carry the baby to breastfeed the baby but I know it's also hard when it's some it doesn't your breast milk doesn't just come like immediately you give but some people it does mine did not so it took me I think almost two weeks for my breast to actually start producing enough milk for my baby now I'm exclusively breastfeeding that is personal preference let nobody tell you what to do <laughs> everybody has opinions everybody has recommendations you do you you do what is best for you and your baby okay now with breastfeeding you know it comes its own things you get hungry and stuff but I personally I'm not gonna lie I had a decrease in appetite I didn't have appetite zero appetite I had to like literally force myself to eat you know so take note of that as well um, but then you have this when when you have when your breast becomes too full and your baby your baby doesn't um, is not able to like suckle till the breast milk you know comes out it's hard because then you have to pump I hate pumping like who invented pump again because that pumping I, I, I genuinely don't like pumping but I do because my baby doesn't really like he doesn't really I mean he's getting older so his slatch and the way he sucks is getting better but before I had to pump because there's no way he'll empty me I have to literally pump and I don't like pumping but thank God for handless pump and I use the LV hand, handless pump and I like it and I also use the Mandela um, pump which I love because that works magical like I 100 100% recommend the Mandela pump. It is really really good and the LV pump is good too. Okay, I have both of them um, Yeah, then when you breast and when when your milk is full sometimes you get uh, If you're the like your milk duck, I don't know how to say but that's what they call mastitis It's a sense whereby your breast is swollen and it's hard and it hurts okay like no matter the first time it has I don't know I'm gonna it happened to me and I almost cried because I did everything I was supposed to do to help relieve that pain it was like it literally was on my left the left side of my breast I massaged I used hot water I pumped I did what I they told me to do and that did not relieve that pain I literally had to like soak it in take some Tylenol and pray to God that the pain resolves and I think it resolved 24 hours after slowly but surely it did resolve but it took some time and it hurts like my side is hurt like there's nothing nothing nobody can tell me in short you have to brace yourself you have to brace yourself because <laughs> You don't even know what is coming to you. Like honestly, you don't know what's coming to you. Like you sit down, I sit down, I think, and I'm like, Jesus, what is this? Huh? Nobody prepares you that your sleep is gone. And I, it's really for people like us that love to sleep. You know, <laughs> I love my sleep. I love to sleep. And yes, I, I was once a night shift nurse, but I left that because of. For a reason I left night shift because I needed sleep and now I'm back to a full-blown night shift baby says it's night oh mommy that's my morning it's time for me to wake up oh no it's time for eggs to go to bed <laughs> it's time for you to sleep but no no you will not sleep and the funniest thing is not even him not sleeping you get not even him not sleeping 
It's the noise he makes. He's not crying. He's not quiet. <laughs> I love him. I love him, but when it's night, especially when you have the sleep, the sleep in your eyes, your eye is like poking. It's like the sun in your eye. You need to close it and sleep. And he's still like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh God, please help me. Let me tell you, you need God during this journey. Ah, it can run you mad, mad. And you know the first thing, my mom was here with me for like almost a month. Imagine people that don't even have nobody. And I'm sitting like, how did you do it again? Because, oof. Crazy. And last. And last but not the least, I want, this is like a, this is like for me to you and for me to myself. You need to give your body time. Yes, I've said it. I need to give my body time. Um, presently, I'm trying to eat healthy or do push on size, exercise, move my body at least every day. I'm failing some days, I'm good at other days. Um, but your body is not just gonna snap back. It's not. I'm sorry, honey. It's not. It's not gonna snap back. It's gonna take some time. And you have to give your body time. You just have to. There's, there's no way to it. So, yeah, I'm glad, I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm just taking the day one at a time, enjoying the process. Some days are harder than others. I'm thankful for my tribe, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my husband, for him being a great support, for him being a great father. And I'm grateful for God for his strength every day and his grace every day. Because that, that is all I need. And I'm gushy. But anyways, thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Because we are here to give you some fabulous videos and you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Please hit the like button. Because we're on our way to a thousand followers. A thousand fine babes. So please, do share.